Welcome, my friends. Consider the rational expression 25 times x minus 6 times 3x minus 4 divided by 5 times 3x minus 4 times x plus 5 that we would like to simplify, and we are told that we can leave our answer in factored form. Now this might look intimidating at first, but it's honestly not too bad. All you need to do is look for pieces on the numerator that can be simplified with similar pieces on the denominator. For example, the constants of 25 and 5 can be reduced to 5, as 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. Next, we notice that we have the same factor of 3x minus 4 on the numerator and denominator, so they will cancel each other out. We are left with 5 times x minus 6 divided by x plus 5. The problem told us we could leave our final answer in factored form, meaning we don't need to distribute the 5 to the x minus 6. So this is our final simplified answer. How about 2x minus 5 divided by 5 minus 2x? The numerator and denominator look very similar, but let's rewrite the denominator as negative 2x plus 5 instead of 5 minus 2x, so that it lines up nicer with the numerator. Our numerator and denominator are the same, except the signs are opposite. Let's try factoring out a negative 1 from the denominator. We have 2x minus 5 divided by negative 2x minus 5. Now we can see that our two terms of 2x minus 5 cancel, and we are left with 1 over negative 1, which is of course just negative 1. Negative 1 is our final simplified answer. Let's try a little bit more complicated one. We have 6y squared minus 8y divided by 2y squared minus 16y. The key to simplifying rational expressions like this is almost always to factor and hope that something cancels out. On the numerator, we can pull out a 2y, which will leave us with 2y times 3y minus 4. On the denominator, we can also pull out a 2y, which will leave us with 2y times y minus 8. The 2y's cancel and we are left with 3y minus 4 divided by y minus 8, which is our final simplified answer. Let's try this one, which is 20x to the 4th divided by 20x squared times y to the 6th minus 25zx to the 5th, which we would like to simplify. What you don't want to do, and what I know some of you will be tempted to do, is to split this into two fractions. This is not equal to 20x to the 4th divided by 20x squared y to the 6th plus 20x to the 4th divided by negative 25zx to the 5th. You can only split up a fraction like this if you have terms added or subtracted in the numerator, not in the denominator. Okay, so what do we do? Like I said in the previous problem, typically the best thing to do is just factor everything and hope that something cancels. Let's try factoring the denominator. Looking at the constants of 20 and 25, we can pull out a 5. Looking at the x terms of x squared and x to the fifth, we can pull out the lowest power on the two terms, which is the second power. We can't pull out any y's or z's, because y's and z's are not common to both terms. On the inside, we have 4y to the sixth minus 5z x to the third. Now we can simplify the 20x to the fourth with our 5x squared out front. 20 over 5 can be simplified to 4. x to the 4th over x squared can be simplified to x squared on the numerator. Altogether, we can simplify this to 4x squared divided by 4y to the 6th minus 5z x to the 3rd, which is our final simplified answer. Let's try this one. We have x minus 6 divided by x squared minus 36, which we would like to simplify. You should immediately recognize the difference of squares on the denominator, which can be factored into x plus 6 times x minus 6. Then you should notice that both the numerator and denominator have x minus 6, which means we can cancel it out. That leaves us with just a 1 on the numerator. Our final answer is 1 divided by x plus 6. How about x squared plus 6x plus 8 divided by x plus 4? Well, we should probably try to factor the numerator. We need two numbers that add to our b term of 6 
and multiply to our C term of 8. Can you think of two numbers that add to 6 and multiply to 8? Well, 4 and 2 should work, as 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, and 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So the numerator could be factored into x plus 4 times x plus 2. The x plus 4 cancels on the numerator and denominator, and we are left with simply x plus 2 as our final simplified answer. How about 4x squared minus 16x plus 16 divided by x squared minus 10x plus 16? Now, I would encourage you not to go straight into factoring the numerator if a GCF can be pulled out first. We notice that we can factor out a 4 from the numerator, which will leave us with 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now we can factor the part in parentheses on the numerator and separately the entire expression on the denominator. For the numerator parentheses, we need two numbers that add to negative 4 and multiply to positive 4. I'll give you a moment to think about what those two numbers could be. The two numbers are negative 2 and negative 2. We can start to build our new expression, which will be 4 times x minus 2 times x minus 2 in the numerator, based on the chart that we just created. For the denominator, we need two numbers that add to negative 10 and multiply to positive 16. Again, I'll give you a moment to think. For this one, the two numbers are negative 8 and negative 2. That means our denominator can be factored as x minus 8 times x minus 2. One of the x minus 2's on the numerator will cancel with one of the ones on the denominator. This leaves us with 4 times x minus 2 divided by x minus 8. Nothing else can be cancelled, so this is our final answer. Let's try x squared minus 6x plus 9 divided by 18 minus 2x squared. You always want to check if a GCF can be factored out first, and we can on the denominator. We can rewrite the denominator as 2 times 9 minus x squared. On the numerator, we need two numbers that add to negative 6 and multiply to 9. Can you think of what those two numbers could be? Well, negative 3 and negative 3 should do it. That will leave us with x minus 3 times x minus 3 in the numerator. On the denominator, we have a difference of squares in parentheses, but I'm going to rewrite it in a more familiar form by first factoring out a negative 1, so that we have negative 2 times negative 9 plus x squared. All this did is change the sign of each term in the denominator. Now I'm going to switch the x squared and negative 9 around, so that we have negative 2 times x squared minus 9 in the denominator. The parentheses on the denominator factors by a difference of squares. We have negative 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now it should be clear that one of the x minus 3 terms cancels, leaving us with x minus 3 divided by negative 2 times x plus 3. You could move the negative from the denominator, but this answer is fine with me, and is classified as fully simplified. Okay, one last problem. We have 5x squared minus 28x plus 15 divided by 5x squared plus 22x minus 15. Unfortunately, nothing can be factored out of this, and please don't try something like this and try to cancel the 5x squared. That's what my calculus teacher used to call math by feelings. Just because you want it to work doesn't mean it works. We are going to have to factor both the numerator and denominator. For the numerator, we need two numbers that add to negative 28 and multiply to 5 times 15, which is equal to 75. Remember that when we have a coefficient on our x squared term, as we do here, we need to multiply the a and the c constants together to find out what we need to multiply to in the chart, which in our case is 5 times 15, which is where I got 75. This one is a little bit tricky. I know that the two numbers need to be negative, as that's the only way they can multiply to a positive number and add to a negative number. It turns out the two numbers are negative 25 and negative 3. Now if you watch my videos, you know that from here I divide each of the values we found here on the sides by our a term, 5 in our case, and then I reduce. Negative 25 divided by 5 reduces to negative 5 over 1, 
and negative 3 over 5 can't be reduced. Now you read from bottom to top to get the factors. x minus 5 from negative 5 over 1, and 5x minus 3 from negative 3 over 5. For the denominator, we need two numbers that add to positive 22 and multiply this time to 5 times negative 15, which is negative 75. This time I need one positive and one negative number. Now it looks like it's going to be 25 and 3 just like last time, except the 25 needs to be positive and the 3 needs to be negative. Dividing each by 5, as that is our coefficient on x squared, our a term, we have 25 over 5, which is 5 over 1, and we have negative 3 over 5, which can't be reduced. Reading from bottom to top, we have x plus 5, which comes from the 5 over 1, and 5x minus 3, which comes from negative 3 over 5. Now we notice the 5x minus 3's cancel, leaving us with just x minus 5 divided by x plus 5, which is our final simplified answer. Alright my friends, that completes this video on simplifying rational expressions.